I really gotta get better about the videos on the outside. Like, I wanna do more of them these because the green screen, seeing all my YouTube thumbnails as green screens is starting to bother me a little bit. I even cleaned the, the porch before we got out here, so we're good. So with that said, um, constructive criticism. I wrote a pretty large Twitter, a Twitter I tirade, Twitter thread. I'll post it in the in the description. But it went on. The background of it was pretty much that I was in a pretty. I've been in a pretty big hole for the past couple months. And it's interesting when you think of it. When you see people rise around you. When you see people rise around you. It's interesting that you know you're looking up, and before you know it, you're you're looking up into this hole. You were you're in this hole, right? And it's it's interesting because I the Twitch community is a community full of positivity and support. And I am it is very unique in any of the communities I've been in just how much positivity there is. And this video isn't here to tell you that's a bad thing. Is that there's something kind of there are things that positivity on its own cannot solve. And this was my problem, is that I had a gigantic support network of teammates on the Chillist, my moderators, and just people on Twitch, my friends, my family on Twitch, that were supporting me, saying like, you know, this, the changes you're making are great, keep going, do the, th do the thing, right? And as what was being said, what wasn't matching what was happening, and I know I've said in many of my career change videos that, yeah, growth happened, but for the most part, I'm at almost six months out from my six, I'm almost six months out from being a full-time streamer, becoming a full-time streamer, and uh, the line is pretty much, you know, it's, it's level. It's been level, so it's like, okay, so six months, you know, if you look at the pessimistic point, you know, kick, the, the, the knee-jerk reaction is like nothing happened, but of course things have happened. Of course things have happened. A lot of great things have happened. But to hear broadcasters and your really co close friends be like, have this kind of bias and, you know, of sorts, whether they meet it or not, and then you see the, these, this, this plateauing, this flatline, my first reaction was like, somebody must be lying. Of course nobody is lying. Like, somebody's lying to me. Of course nobody's gonna lie to me to my face. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't trust these people to just you know, to just do that, but I think there's a very, you know, positivity can hide constructive criticism. And it wasn't until one of my teammates on the Chillis came into my staff chat and said, I don't think, to be honest, not to be mean, I don't, you know, not to be mean, to be honest, I don't think speedrunning Mega Man uh, is doing a great, great things for your growth. And for the first time in months, my brain lit up. And it's like, oh, okay. I was at the point where I could accept anything. It's like, give me something. Somebody tell me something that I don't know. And that gave it that to me. So I took that, I tried to take that a step forward. I'm like, okay, if speed running is not working, or it's not working, or it's not supporting growth, what can I do? which was already a, like a thousand steps forward from what do I, like I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do because I'm lost. I was no longer lost. I had a path I could explore and, and try out. Having a good team around me, we decided that I'm going to reintroduce variety uh, in some form uh, immediately. And we'll see how it goes. but. The point of this is to really talk about how important it is to have a, a team that you trust and how important it is as a broadcaster to be able to have, um, to be able to be, to accept constructive criticism. Because when you're surrounded by so much positivity, it can be very, it's very easy to cover up problems. and when we're all trying to grow, when we're all trying to make it on Twitch, if we're doing something wrong, having a trusted team 
of viewers, of moderators, of teammates, on, if you're on a Twitch team or whatever kind of team you're on, is extremely important to help you go forward. I don't know how, if, if, if Snow, if Snowlet didn't speak up, if my mods, if I didn't get my mods to speak up, if I just kept talking about this on Twitter, I have no idea if anybody would have told me. Because we're all, you know, tippy-toeing on each other's emotions, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, it's just that it's not, it's not always helpful. When you have that baseline of support, when you have that baseline of trust, you can go a step beyond that and say, I trust you, I need help, give me some, can I, can I have some help, can you tell me what's wrong? And being able to step out there and do that, I think, for, for a viewer, for somebody like myself or a broadcaster to go to one of their broadcasters and say that, it's a very hard thing to do. But I think it's something we need to do as a community. In our little communities and as a community as a whole, be able to gather in these, in these little trusted circles and be able to share, be vulnerable with each other. That's where I was. My staff chat two days ago was a bastion of vulnerability. <laughs> because I was like, thank you. I was like, this is what I needed. And action came out of it. Like, I wish I had done this months ago, but I just wasn't there yet. I just kept thinking that the world was against me, that, that people were, you know, um, that like viewers just weren't telling me that they didn't like me. Or, or things like that, like the partner spotlight didn't go as well as other partner spotlights, and, and people look at that and they're like, well, no, don't criticize yourself, because everybody's different. I'm like, yeah, that's great, positive, awesome. But maybe there's something you could have changed. That's the half that's missing. That's the half that I hope can come back, at least in my community and hopefully in, in yours to make sure we can all grow. Because without that, we can be the happiest community in the world. It'll be going nowhere. Well, there you go. If you liked the video, and I'm gonna pit myself out for the first time and for every video because, you know, YouTube and stuff. If you liked the video, please share it. Um, and uh, I'd appreciate that. I'll try to do more of these more often from the outside so you get to see more than my green screen. But until then, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Twitter or just, you know, use the comments below or message me. And I'll be happy to answer your question or, or take your dubious advice or things like that. Till next time, thanks for listening.